right, let's go ahead and open up uh, Azure Cloud Shell. And we're going to have to copy this URL for device login. Open up a browser and copy and paste it in there. Now we're going to need to copy and paste the code. Now this code lives for 15 minutes, so you have 15 minutes to use it. Otherwise, you're going to have to open up a new tab to generate a new code so that you can use it in the browser. Now you're going to be requested to log into your Azure Cloud account. So make sure you log in with that. And then once you're done, it's going to tell you that it's done. And you may now close this window. Now you're going to have to select which tenant. Now I have to use my default directory since that's the one where all my stuff is in. But yours will be different, of course. So what you're seeing here is an actual session that's running in Azure. And I'm using Linux for my shell. But it also has the same Azure CLI tools as I would find on my local machine. Uh, my other videos you see that I use Mac OS. And just to test this out, I'm going to list my key vaults. So this tells me that definitely I have the proper connection to my shell and my resources in Azure. When you open up a new session, you're going to see that you're prompted again to choose uh, your tenant or you can create a new account or log in with a new account, sorry, or you can remove the existing one. I'm going to go ahead and log into my default directory. And it's once again going to open the same uh, terminal prompt that we saw earlier. But you're doing this from within uh, Azure. And of course, because of that, you also get PowerShell. So you can run PowerShell if, if you want to. And you're going to get all the default PowerShell modules. OK, so I hope this helps you out. I know this is a quick video, but I just want to show you how to get Azure Cloud Shell working on your machine.